Tara Prince Tara gonna draw a hot dog folding express. Yeah, when it's folded up, it's gonna be a hot dog. And then when you open it up, it's gonna be a monster. Roar. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We like using markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some? Paper and someone to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Actually, we're gonna fold our paper first. Let's first take the top edge of our paper, line it up with the bottom edge, and crease it down the middle, and then out to the corners. Next, let's take the top flap, and we'll fold that back up to the top edge, crease it down. There you go. Then we're gonna flip our paper over and then repeat that same step. We'll take the flap, top flap, line it up with the top edge, and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. The last fold we can unfold and then flatten it out. Then let's flip our paper back over. So when you're all done, it should open up like this. And we also have scratch paper we're gonna put underneath our drawing paper. Now we're ready to use our markers and draw our hot dog. We're gonna draw half of the hot dog above this fold and half of the hot dog below the fold. First, let's draw the funny face or the eyes. We're gonna draw a circle above the fold but on the left side of our paper. I'm gonna draw a circle about this big. Well, I like how far over you're drawing it. That's awesome. Now we're gonna draw that same size circle but we're gonna draw it over here on the right side above the fold also. Next, let's draw a smaller circle inside on the top left of the eye. This is for the highlight. To make our eyes look shiny. What do we do next? Color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Yes, let's leave that little circle white. That's for the highlight. This part we're gonna fast forward, so pause the video if you need extra time. Now we're ready to draw the bun for our hot dog. We're gonna start over here on the left side above the fold and we're gonna draw a curve that goes over the eye and then right here we're gonna come down just a little bit in between the eye and then back up and then curve around this eye and then connect to the fold over here. Yeah, good job. Oh, I like the shape of your bun. <laughs> That's awesome. And I love that our two drawings aren't exactly the same because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. It's okay if your drawings look different too. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Let's draw the bottom of our bun. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw a curve that comes underneath the fold. We're going to come over to the right and then curve back up and connect to this side. There you go. Yeah, keep going. You did it. Oh, I like that shape. And connect. All right, now let's draw the hot dog. And we're gonna draw the end of the hot dog sticking out of the, the side of the bun. So we'll start here, about halfway down the bun, and we're gonna curve around. And then we're gonna draw a line that comes across the top. And then we're gonna draw a curve that also connects back in on the side. <laughs> I love it. That is a serious hot dog. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Okay, now let's draw the other side of our bun. We got one on this side and then one that's behind the hot dog. So we're going to repeat. See this line right here? We're going to match that same line, but we're going to draw just part of it over here on this side. So I'm going to come up. We'll come down a little. And then we'll come back up and then connect into the hot dog. There you go, you're coming down a little, and then back up, and then connect in. Maybe yours is not a hot dog, it's a brat, which those What's are usually, it's uh, like a sausage, and they're a little thicker than hot dogs. Mm. <laughs> now we also need to add mustard. Let's draw a wiggly line right here in between the bun and the hot dog. Yes, oh, I like how wiggly that line is. And then we could also draw ketchup on the other side. So I'm going to start over here and draw a wiggly line on the other side of the hot dog. What should we draw next? The mouth. 
Yeah, it's missing the mouth. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna draw on top of the fold. I'm turning my paper sideways. I'm gonna draw it right underneath the eye and half of the line, I let's see, I'm drawing the line on top of the fold, but then you can come back and then draw another line that's below the fold. That way when you open it up, you can see the mouth up here on this part and down here too. There you go. You could draw on to, right on the fold. I'll help you hold the paper down. Yeah, just like that. So then when you open it up, you can see part of the mouth here and also at the bottom. Then let's draw a cheek over here, a cheek line on the left and also over here on the right. <laughs> All right, now we're ready to open up our drawings. We can unfold it and then flatten it out. We should have half of our hot dog up here and half down here. It looks kind of funny. Yeah. Let's connect it so that we have the mouth. We're going to start on the left side and I'm going to draw a line that comes down and connects to the bottom over here on the left. So you're going to connect to this part right here. Yeah. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. Draw that line. It comes down. You did it. Now let's draw the outside of our, our hot dog mouth. And on mine, it, see how it's curving in? I'm gonna curve it in and kind of get close to the side of the mouth. But then I'm gonna curve back out and connect down here. Well, it's so it kind of like in. this shape too. Yeah, so oh yeah, it is. Then... Comes in and then back up. You could actually just draw it straight down too if you want. That would make it a little easier. I like that, you did it. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Start up here, I'm going to draw it coming in, and then back out, and then connect to the bottom of the bun. <laughs> what should we draw next? Scary teeth! Yeah, let's do it. We're going to draw, we're going to start here, right in the middle of the mouth. I'm going to leave a little space, and then I'm going to draw a straight line coming down, just this short one. Yeah, let's make it bigger. I'm going to split the scary teeth. One to the left side and one to the right side. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the top of the left tooth. So I'm gonna draw a big curve that comes around and then it's gonna come down and then connect into this side. So it's sharp and also thick. Oh, that's really big. <laughs> that's a scary tooth. And then we're gonna draw the right side. We're gonna do the same thing, curve around and then connect into the bottom. All right, let's do the same thing. We're gonna draw another line that comes out to the left. And then let's start back up here. We're gonna draw another curve that comes around and then connects down and creates a sharp point down at the bottom. Curve down and then sharp tooth. Yes. And then let's do that again. We could even do that as many times as we want to fill this space. So I'm gonna do one more and maybe this one's a little smaller. And then I'm gonna do another one sticking out here. Curve around and connect down to the bottom. I went kind of fast. So if you need extra time, remember to pause the video. I like your teeth so much. Now let's repeat that same step, except on the right side. So I'm gonna draw this line first, coming out of the tooth, and we'll draw a big curve coming around and creating a point down at the bottom. You drew two more teeth on the left side, so you could draw two more teeth on this side too to fill in that space. I'm gonna do the same thing. Draw a small one, and then a curve around and connect, and then another small one, curve around and make the point down at the bottom. Those are definitely monster teeth. Mm -hmm. I would not want a hot dog to have those kind of teeth. <laughs> and then if you have a little extra space, you could just add a little line right there and also over there on that side for the gums. Yeah, and then one on the other side. We did it. All right, let's repeat that same step, except flip it upside down for the bottom teeth. So I'm gonna start down here and draw a line in the middle. And then I'm gonna split those teeth. I'm gonna split one to the left and one to the right. And then we can draw the bottom and then 
connect to the top and make a point. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's do that again as many times as you want. You could add a lot of teeth. Maybe they're not as wide. Maybe they're really skinny and you could add a lot or you could draw really thick teeth, kind of like how I'm doing and just add a few more teeth. I'm gonna add one more. Oh, maybe another one. I'm gonna do one more. Here we go. <laughs> and then curve up. Yes, you could, you have enough space for one more. There you go, and then curve around and touch. Yeah, now let's do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna draw that diagonal line coming out, and then a big curve coming up to make a point. You could add these teeth to any drawing. This is, these are kind of fun teeth to add to any monster or a dragon or anything that's kind of scary. I'm gonna add one more tooth. Oh, yours? I think yours is scarier than mine. Your teeth look sharper. <laughs> there you go, add a, add a couple more to fill in that space. Yes, we did it. All right, now let's draw the tongue. I'm gonna to start over here on the left side. I'm gonna draw a curve. Oh, this is kind of like the shape of our bun up here at the top. I'm gonna to curve around, come down in the middle, back up, and then curve back into the teeth. We're using a lot of those shapes. Yeah, it's, it kind of looks like a jelly bean shape too. Yeah. Curve up, back down, and then up, and then back down again. <laughs> All right, now let's draw the back of the mouth. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw a curve that connects from the top of the teeth down to the tongue. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the right side. Oh, we could also draw, we could draw that little punching bag at the back of your throat. Draw a little U shape in between those teeth. <laughs> you could also leave that off if you want to. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little. Gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I'm gonna draw a little curve right here. That's the fun part of drawing a gross hot dog mouth. Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our hot dog monster. Except we still need to color it. Yeah, we do. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. We did it. We finished coloring and drawing our hot dog monster. I love yours so much. I love yours too. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's show our friends what's inside. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I love how scary your teeth are. And we also added extra things like mustard and ketchup dripping down from the hot dog. I think that makes it look scary too. Yeah. And then also I added shading with a gray, a dark gray marker and also highlights, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. I love yours so much. You could even add more things in the background or maybe even stuff in the inside of the hot dog mouth. Yeah. Maybe like it's a, a what? Burger? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hamburger inside of the hot dog mouth. <laughs> you can also color your drawings any way you want. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a hot dog monster. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Rawr, I'm gonna eat your hamburger. No, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> <laughs>